Hi, I'm Blake Avant with Emerald Coast Flyboard, and I'm here to introduce you to something truly amazing. This is the Flyboard. The Flyboard is brand new to the United States. It's only been here less than two weeks. Uh, we have them in stock, and what we're doing here today is we want to show you exactly how it works and everything involved in flying the Flyboard. We're going to show you clips of video of people flying it. We're going to show you a little bit about how to install it and how it works. So follow along as we uh, introduce you to the Flyboard. Okay, starting with this, this is the uh, this is a Yamaha Wave Runner. It can be used on a Sea Doo, uh, a jet ski, a Kawasaki brand. Uh, we like the Yamaha brand, but uh, this plate that you see right here comes with the kit. It's an aluminum plate. We pulled we pull the steering mechanism off. There's four bolts. This comes off. One, two, three, four bolts. The adapter plate goes on with four bolts. It's that easy. Disconnect the steering. This is a reverse mechanism on this particular model. But once you get the plate on, it's that simple. You're ready to go flyboarding. There's only one last step to get you in, going in the water, and that is to attach the 180 degree elbow. This is the 180 degree elbow. This comes with the kit. It attaches to the adapter plate, so I'm going to show you how easy it is. This is normally done in the water, but for today's purpose, I'm just demonstrating how easy it is to put on. Uh, the water adds a little bit more complication, but uh, due to the clear waters we have here, it goes on in, in just a couple of minutes. But this is how it works. Four bolts here match up to the four bolts on the adapter plate. This goes in and locks. We can see here that we've got a good lock, everything matches, and we start with the right bolt, and we tighten that one first, and we just work our way around using a simple hand tool, a uh, ball-in wrench tool that fits right into these four bolts. Once these are tightened on, we're uh, practically ready to go flyboard. We're going to show you a little bit more once we get into the water, but that is the basics of it. Anyway, I'm Blake Avan, and uh, this is how you install the 180 degree elbow. We've got a ball-in wrench four bolts. We're going to fit into the adapter plate that we showed you earlier. This water is fairly clear, but you kind of have to feel your way into the plate. And now, okay, I feel it. There it is. All four corners are locked in. There it goes. This is where I use my ball-in wrench. And we start with the upper right screw first. That is your locking screw. Once that one's in, we know that all four will maintain the proper alignment. Okay, and that's it. We're ready to go flyboard. All right, now, now that we're in the water and the flyboard's attached to the personal watercraft, we're going to go over a little bit of the basics on just how does this thing work. Okay, the uh, a normal wave runner provides propulsion by a jet pump that's located underneath here, and it normally has a steering mechanism that we showed you earlier. Well, that steering mechanism has been removed, and now that this 180 degree elbow is installed, you've got all the thrust of this watercraft coming through this 180 degree elbow. That's 100% of the thrust is coming out through this elbow, running into this hose. Once it reaches this hose, it comes through a hundred, <clears throat> comes through a completely 360 degree swivel bearing. Bearing is made of plastic ball bearings. It's a self-cleaning bearing that never needs any kind of lubrication. Um, the water will actually remove all the sand and all the debris uh, while you're in the water, and it lubricates it uh, while you're in flight. Also underneath, you've got two of the same bearings that allow it to the flyboard to actually rotate uh, about the Y adapter. So all your power comes up through here and out through the main nozzles, and that is what propels you, like Iron Man, through the water. 